Hi, I'm Renee and welcome to my Kudos Kitchen where today we're going to be making this colorful autumn leaves crusted apple pie. It's easier to make than you might think and it's one of the most popular recipes, holiday recipes on my blog. So I do hope you'll stick with me and give it a try yourself because I know you're gonna be pleasantly surprised. It's a real showstopper. The ingredients you're gonna need to make this autumn leaf crusted apple pie are simple. You're gonna need four, five, possibly six Granny Smith apples, which are peeled and sliced. You're gonna need some fresh lemon juice. Squeeze that over the apples to prevent them from browning and keep their color nice and vibrant. You're gonna need some sugar, some brown sugar, a little bit of flour, I like to add some vanilla. And I also like to add cinnamon. Of course, you can't have an apple pie without cinnamon. So, and stir this up really well. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop it into deep dish pie crust. You can either make your own if you have your favorite recipe and you're good at it, or you can do like I'm doing today and using a store-bought deep dish pie crust. Oh, I forgot, pinch of salt. Don't forget salt. Always have salt in your baked goods. It just enhances the flavor. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but don't forget, don't forget that part, like I almost did. So stir that all together. And then we're gonna pile these apples up really nice and high into our pie crust, our deep dish pie crust. And the reason you want it piled nice and high is because they will cook down, the apples will cook down as they bake. And this way it's still gonna look like a nice full pie. And you'll see what it looks like when the when the leaves, when the autumn leaves cover the pie and they cook down, oh, it looks so pretty because it looks like fallen leaves um, on the ground. You're gonna really like it. See how full this is? And it's easier to use my hands, so I'm gonna go in there and do it. And that way I can make sure that I have the apple slices just where I want them. I use my hands a lot in the kitchen. You probably do too. So here we are, nice and loaded. So what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna show you how to make the autumn leaves, um, which are the colorful bits with the um, gel food coloring. So hang on, we'll go there next. Okay, so you'll notice that I put my pie on a baking sheet because when I do bake the pie in the oven, um, I'm gonna want the baking sheet to catch any of the juices that come out of the pie, exude out of the pie. And that's what you want. You want a juicy pie. Another thing I want to do before it goes, before we put the autumn leaves on, is I'm going to want to dot it with butter. As the pie cooks, well, you know, the butter melts and it just makes for a way more delicious pie. So, just putting some pats of butter all over the top of the pie. And now we can set it aside because we're going to do the autumn leaves. Now we're going to do the really fun part and we're going to cut and color our autumn leaves. So what you're going to need, you're going to need an egg wash, which is egg and water mixed together, simple. You're going to need some gel food coloring. I use, I'm going to use yellow, green, red, brown, and orange. You need a paring knife, you'll see why in a little bit. Some paint brushes, um, a leaf cutter, of course you can't have autumn leaves without a leaf cutter some clean water and that's just to clean your brushes after each color it's not imperative but it's pretty important and of course paper towel oh and today i'm using a pre store-bought rolled up black pie crust okay you'll notice i'm using these little bitty dishes they work great for mixing up the colors um, but you don't have to paper cups work just fine so what i'm going to do is i'm going to divide the egg wash between these Six little dishes, because I have six colors. And then I'm gonna put a squirt or two of each of the colors into the 
egg cups and mix them up. Okay, here's our colors. Look at how pretty they are. We have the yellow, the orange, the green, brown, and red. If you're wondering why I mix the colors in an egg wash, it's because once the pie crust bakes, it'll give the leaves a nice shine, just like an egg wash does when you bake regular things in the oven breads and pies and pastries. So let me just unroll the pie crust and we're gonna cut the leaves and I'll show you what happens next. So I've unrolled the pie dough and I'm gonna take my leaf cutter and I'm going to cut out as many leaf shapes as I can, leaf shapes as I can from this pie dough. So I'm probably gonna want at least 10 to 12 and if I need to use a second um, roll of pie dough, I'll go ahead and do that. So I'll just, it's kinda of like a puzzle, work it around, making sure I fit in as many as I can. Looks like I'm going to get eight. I'm going to see if eight will work. I hate to roll out a second pie dough for one or two leaves, but we'll see. Definitely eight. And once I have the leaves cut out, what I want to do now is take a paring knife and I'm going to put the veins on the leaves because to me that's what makes the leaves look so pretty and realistic. You can do it however you like. Um, I use the back of a knife because I don't want to cut directly through the dough and this prevents me from hopefully doing that. And if it does happen, it's not that big of a deal. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna go ahead and continue this step for all of the leaves. What we're gonna do after this is we're gonna remove all the excess pie dough and I'm gonna move the leaves to a baking sheet. And from there, we're going to do the coloring. Just like this, see? Okay, on to the next step. Okay, rather than move these leaves to a baking sheet to color them, I think I'm gonna do them right here and save a step so and plus I think you'll be able to see it better on this flat surface so pick a color um, what I guess I normally like to do first is start with the yellow um, what you don't want to do is you don't want to paint over the yellow because the yellow is so light that it, it'll get lost so just um, take some color wherever you want on the on the leaf you can dab it or paint it and do this on each leaf in different areas. You don't have to do full coverage, or you can. It's up to you, whatever you like. But I like to do it in different areas on different leaves. A bigger paintbrush might be helpful. <clears throat> I'm using kind of a small one, which I'm not quite sure why. Um, you'll get a lot further faster if you use a larger brush, but it is what it is right now, so keep going. Keep painting, my friends. Remember I told you to change your colors with the um, clean water. Okay, now that the leaves are painted, one thing I neglected to mention is if you don't want to do the multicolor leaves, by all means, go ahead and do them all one color, do them two colors, three colors, whatever you choose. It doesn't have to be a multicolor leaf. I just happen to like things that are really colorful. So once you get them all painted, they're ready now to be laid on top of the pie. And as I mentioned before, you don't want to like put them like right on top of each other. You want to turn them and twist them a little, not, I, mean, I don't mean twist them, but um, lay them just randomly on top of your pie, leaving open spaces here and there for the apples to peek out a little bit. You might want to rearrange them a little bit if you see that you have a big gaping hole and eight's not working. But as I said, it will bake down and um, it's gonna work out just fine. You're actually gonna be pleasantly surprised. Just move them around. I 
love this pie. It always makes people go, ooh and ah, how'd you do that? Now you know how easy it is. Pretty simple. You can get the leaf cutters anywhere. Amazon's always a good place to go. I love the Amazon. Um, and the paint brushes, same thing, any craft store. And the gel food coloring, basically any craft store. I'll leave some links on my post because this is quite a popular recipe on my blog. So I'll go ahead and leave some links down below so you can find it. So there's the finished pie. What I'm going to do now is pop it in the oven, 350 degrees for, I, I believe it's 50 to 60 minutes, but you'll know, you'll smell it. Um, there's no denying when it's done. You'll see the juices kind of oozing out and it's going to be really good. So like I said, I'm going to pop it in the oven and you'll see when it's done. Okay. Okay, so the pie's out of the oven, the autumn leaves crusted apple pie. And wow, doesn't that look good? And it's a good thing we put the baking sheet underneath it because the juices did run out just like I intended them to. And boy, does it smell good. Oh, it smells so good. Um, as you can tell, the apples have cooked down. They're nice and soft now. Um, the leaves look like they fell directly out of the trees. They look very random, very colorful. So I do hope you'll try this recipe. It's a good one and it certainly is a showstopper. So thanks for visiting in my Kudos Kitchen. Have a good day, bye.